Hello, my name is Siobhan Modi, and right now we are amidst one of the most challenging periods in the history of mankind. Climate change is threatening our very existence, and we are solely to blame. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the many ways that you can help mitigate the climate emergency we all face from the comforts of your own home or anywhere you go. Firstly, I want to talk about biodiversity and what it is. And simply put, it's the natural world around us. Scientifically, it refers to the abundance and variety of species, but in essence, it's nature itself. But why is it so important? Biodiversity is our biggest resource and our livelihoods depend directly upon it, on its availability, on its abundance. Everything we use, eat, drink, sit on, sleep on, come from the natural world. Most of our medicines come from nature. But more importantly, maintaining biodiversity is imperative in our battle against climate change. It's true that the earth has been through a history of rapid heating and cooling events before, but the one we face today is different. The planet is heating at an exponential rate, never seen before in the history of mankind. Ice caps are responsible for reflecting a huge chunk of the sun's solar energy back into space, keeping the planet cool, but they are disappearing quickly. And consequently, the earth is getting hotter. Forests, often referred to as the lungs of the planet, and that's because they absorb tremendous amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The more diverse a forest is, the more carbon it can absorb, yet acres are being burnt or cleared every single day. Oceans are also a huge carbon sink, and we rely heavily on them for food. Our oceans are getting warmer, and fish stocks are depleting, not only because of the temperature change, but also because we're exhausting them. Each component of this planet plays an invaluable part in maintaining life on it, and we rely on all of it for our survival. So you might be thinking, well, what has this got to do with my diet? Well, the stability of seasons and predictable climate are exactly what enabled mankind to begin farming. But this requires land. And today, almost half of all fertile land on Earth is used for agriculture, of which 75% of land is used for animal agriculture alone. Farming animals requires substantial amounts of space, not just to grow and rear, but primarily to feed. Approximately 33% of all croplands are used to grow cattle feed, mostly in the form of soybeans. And this leads to a vast amount of land stripped of their rich biodiversity and reduced to a monoculture, which is precisely what we're trying to avoid. Monocultures are poor carbon sinks compared to healthy, rich forests with tons of biodiversity. In the wild, for every carnivore, there's a handful of prey, and the planet simply does not have enough space to accommodate seven billion carnivores. To put this into perspective, this chart estimates that 60% of land mammals are cattle alone. Us humans make up around a third of the weight of land mammals, whilst wild mammals, not yet domesticated, make up just 4%. Not only is the animal agriculture industry the number one driver of deforestation, but they also contribute heavily towards global emissions. Livestock accounts for between 14 and 18% global greenhouse gas emissions, more than the emissions from all of transportation combined. The earth is getting warmer and less equipped to deal with it. We must reduce the area we use to farm. And the quickest and most effective way to do that is to change our diets. It requires a lot less land to farm crops compared to animals, and nations have already begun utilizing space in creative ways that requires even less land to farm crops with high yields. We as consumers need to shift towards a more plant-based diet. Now that might mean eating vegetarian or vegan a couple of days a week, or perhaps only at breakfast. But for some of you, it could be as simple as restructuring your plate, eating more vegetables and less meat on each plate. The point is, 
every bit you do makes a difference. By increasing the demand for vegetables and shifting attention away from meat, there's a lot less pressure on industries to encourage deforestation. It's certainly doable and very achievable. Cultures all over the globe have been eating vegan or vegetarian diets for centuries. There is a plethora of recipes on the internet. And nowadays, much of the ingredients are readily available from your local supermarkets. Every day, the meatless industry are coming up with an alternative meat placement for those of you who are reluctant to change. But even a small change is still a significant one. We must also substantially reduce waste. It's estimated that nearly a third of all food produced a year is wasted. And whilst there is enough food to feed everyone on the planet, one in nine people are going undernourished. We have to minimize our waste. And that means eating as much as you buy, but also, and more importantly, eating only what is necessary. Many of us are guilty and perhaps unconscious of overeating. The purpose of food is to nourish the body. The body expends energy each day, which is replenished through the foods we eat. To find out how much food you need is simple. Google calorie ca calculator, enter your age, height and weight. They may ask for other details, but these are the main ones. And calculate how many calories you need to maintain your body weight. Various websites may also give you an indication of how many calories to eat if you aim to gain or lose weight, which is also useful if you have fitness goals. But for those of you thinking, why am I gaining weight or losing weight? The answer is you're probably eating too much or not enough. My Fitness Pro is an excellent app that allows you to track your calories as well as various other nutrients like fats, carbs, and proteins. And it's very simple to use. If you have a smartphone or a tablet, you can download it today for free. Simply scan the barcode or the food you're eating or type it in the search bar and the app will calculate how many calories and everything else that's in it. For those of you who don't have the time or can't be bothered with the app, even keeping a mental note, checking the foods you're eating every day, checking the labels, seeing how many calories they are and making a mental note of how many calories you're eating every day, just to make sure that you're not over or under eating is enough. The aim is to minimize waste. Eat what is necessary and eat sustainably. And it takes every one of us to contribute if we ever stand a chance at combating the climate crisis. Ultimately, we are all going to be the ones who suffer. So start today. Pick up the vegetarian option instead of the meat. Go and find out how much calories your body needs every day. Start to make a difference so that we can all begin to live sustainably and our planet can begin to flourish again. Thank you.